We really appreciate you being here today. If everyone would please rise for the presentation of the colors by the Sarasota Police Department Honor Guard. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Color Guard, order, who? Uniform personnel, Rise. order, hey. arm. Forward, who? Thank you. you. may all be seated. I'd like to recognize some dignitaries that are here, and as I said earlier, all of you are special in uh, the city of Sarasota, and I thank all of you for being here on a special day to commemorate and honor the sacrifice that one of our own at the Sarasota Police Department made on April 5, 1975, 40 years ago, Officer Warren Jones. At this point, I'd like to recognize some special people that are here joining us today. First, our Sarasota County Sheriff, Tom Knight. The Longbow Police Chief, Peter Cummings. The PBA President, Sergeant Mick McHale. The FOP President, Bruce Porter, who is also retired Sarasota Police Department Sergeant. The Chief Assistant State Attorney, Craig Schaefer. Judge Lee E. Hayworth. And our le leaders from the city, and I really appreciate them being here and showing their support of the Sarasota Police Department. First, our distinguished mayor, Willie Shaw. Our city of Sarasota vice mayor, Susan Chapman. Our city manager, who is also a former police officer, Tom Barwin. Our deputy city manager, Marlon Brown. Commissioner Suzanne Atwell, and Commissioner Stan Zimmerman. Sarasota County Commissioner Chair Carolyn Mason. And there's numerous SPD retirees that are here, and please give them a round of applause. And last, but certainly not least, the fiance of late Officer Jones, Patty Cornish Walls, and she will later do the unveiling. Please give her a round of applause. I'd like to call Chaplain Dwayne Guybe to please come forward to offer a prayer. Good morning. I'd like to invite you to join me and encourage us to join our hearts together in the spirit of this prayer, which is typically referred to as a police officer's prayer. Lord, I ask for courage, courage to face and conquer my own fears, courage to take me where others will not go. I ask for strength, strength of body to protect others and strength of spirit to lead others. I ask for dedication, dedication to my job to do it well, dedication to my community to keep it safe. Give me, Lord, concern for others who trust me and compassion for those who need me. And please, Lord, through it all, be at my side. Amen. Amen. 
Thank you, Chaplain. I would like to now ask Deputy Chief Pat Robinson and Captain Kevin Stiff to place the honor wreath in a location of honor for Officer Warren Jones. If you would join me in giving a round of applause for our honor guards. I'd like to invite Mayor Willie Shaw to come up and give us some comments today. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Chief, to the men and women of the cities of Sarasota's Police Department, to the fiance of the former officer, Warren David Jones. I think it was best brought to our attention in the prayer that was offered by our chaplain. I have it here someplace. No, I have another one. <laughs> That's okay. I can do it from memory. I think it was best brought when the prayer of the officer said, God, give me courage. God give me strength. Our lives are born out in deeds, not in years. It is born through our efforts, what we do, what we say, and how we live our lives. This is a very short span of roadway that we're dedicating here today in honor of our fallen comrade and brother in the city. It represents the very short span of life that he shared with many of you. That span of life from its beginning to its end stretched even further today in each of our lives. Each of you in your respective places and in your response to duty and dedication it's an honor, and it is a cherished honor that this city recognizes you. I, as mayor, would like to thank you for the service that you provide this city in protecting us. I thank you for your dedication. I thank you for your professionalism. I thank you for the cold days. I thank you for the warm days. I thank your families for putting up with this city for allowing you to go out and God bring you home safely each and every night. I pray and I pray this daily that never on our watch, not my watch, our watch, do we have to go through this again. My prayers with each of you and for this city into a very bright future. May the life of Warren Davis Jones lives on in our hearts and in our memories from this time forth. Chief, God bless you and thank you for leading this all. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Mayor Shaw. I'd like to now call Commissioner Suzanne Atwell to make some comments also. Thank you, Commissioner. 
Thank you, Chief. Uh, it is an honor to be here. Last time I spoke here was at the 10th anniversary of the, uh, um, when we had the plaque with 9-11, uh, where we uh, honored uh, Officer Jones, very meaningful. It was very profound. Today, today is his day. Officer Warren David Jones had only been on the job for a couple of years, much, much too short a time, but his time was of great value. He was a local young man who lost his life in service to this and his community. He has been memorialized by the fact that he was the only one who died in the line of duty at the Sarasota Police Department. You know, to me, that's a lonely place to be. But I know that every one of all of our police officers lines up in back of him, joins him always and forever in proudly doing what they do for him, with him, and all of us in Sarasota as protectors of peace and safety. We are all with Officer Jones and his family today, and this tribute is only befitting to the terrible loss of a young life to the greater good, and an important, powerful symbol of the vulnerability of our police officers. April 5th, 1975 was his end of watch, but not for us, as we will always have this memorial to help keep watching him always and forever and in perpetuity. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. And I thank the city for allowing our department to be able to commemorate and honor Officer Jones by allowing this street to be named in his honor. And I thank, thank you all again for coming here this morning to honor our Sarasota police officer, Warren Jones, who was killed in the line of duty 40 years ago on April 5th, 1975. Officer Jones, only 25 years old at the time, had two years of service with the Sarasota Police Department. On April 5th, 1975, Officer Warren Jones was on routine patrol when he observed a vehicle parked next to a gas station located at 1450 Mango Avenue. The suspect, a Mr. Henry Lee Washington, had been stealing gasoline. Mr. Washington fought Officer Jones as he attempted to place him under arrest. Mr. Washington was able to overpower Officer Jones and take his duty weapon, a 38 caliber revolver. Mr. Washington shot Officer Jones in the chest. Officer Jones was transported to the Sarasota Memorial Hospital where he succumbed to his injuries 90 minutes later. Mr. Washington was found in Fort Myers a few days later after he committed suicide. This Sunday, April 5th marks the 40th anniversary of Officer Warren Jones's death. The Sarasota Police Department wants to honor him by placing these signs outside our headquarters. I ask that all who pass by these signs be reminded of the sacrifice that Officer Jones and all law enforcement give to their community. Officer Jones's sacrifice is a testament to the bravery and courage police officers show every day. He gave his life to keep our community safe. I pray that every law enforcement officer, no matter what agency, local, state, federal, be reminded to stay ever vigilant. You have a dangerous and difficult job. I'm proud of Officer Jones for having the character to choose an honorable profession. I'm proud of you the men and women of the Sarasota Police Department, and all law enforcement for being willing to risk your life every day for the safety and protection of our citizens and our great country. Thank you. Now, I would like to recognize some people and organizations for their assistance in making this event possible. First, the Police Benevolent Association. Their contribution gave us the ability to purchase these beautiful memorial signs. Join me in giving them some applause. <laughs> Next, Daniel Orstein and Cody Holding from the City of Sarasota Engineering Department.
for their efforts in creating these signs. Please join me. We're going to now unveil the sign. So to be unveiled by Patty Cornish Walls, who was the fiance to Oscar Jones at the time of his death, we're going to ask you to please unveil the sign. That concludes our ceremony. I'm very honored to be standing here before this sign today to recognize Officer Jones and all the men and women of law enforcement. Thank you again for your commitment to our communities. I pray that you all stay safe. God bless you and God bless America. Thank you very much. It's very important for us to recognize the dedication and devotion that the men and women in law enforcement give every single day. And Officer Jones just epitomizes that sacrifice that, that our police officers across the country are willing to give to our community. Well, we are very fortunate that we've only had one police officer, but one's too many, especially when our officers are out every single day committed to communities to keep them safe. And this is going to stand as a memorial for people that ride by here every single day to remember the sacrifice that not only Officer Jones gave 40 years ago on April 5th, 1975, but also the everyday sacrifice that the men and women of police departments, whether it's local, state, or federal, give to our community to keep us safe. And the men and women in law enforcement, when they take this job, they know that every single day is a gift and it could be their last day when they go out and put this uniform to, to keep our community safe. And that's what Officer Jones did on that day. Uh, that really means a lot to us in law enforcement. To have the appreciation and support of our community is what continues to keep us driving every day to go out and to patrol and to, to keep our community safe and to know that people will remember. And even if they didn't know Officer Jones, that are willing to come out and support our current police force with the unveiling of this sign, including having his fiance at the time here to unveil the sign, it means so much to us in law enforcement. And I think this is a, a great time of the year to be able to celebrate his life, to remember his life, commemorate what he did, and as an example to what our officers do every single day in our community.